Hello and welcome to another episode of Unreal World with me qualification. Um gonna be doing quite a bit of recording today probably. Uh start off with some Unreal World and then pick up some Dwarf Fortress later in the day and then probably finish off with another tutorial episode. Uh but let's go ahead back to Pedro. I have played a little bit since the last video. Um as you'll see no doubt when we go to the map here. Uh, let's zoom in. Uh, fishing, yes. Um, this is the settlement that I've started building. Um, and basically, uh, the way that has worked, I'll show you in a second. Uh, I just get it, I just got started on it, really. Um, it's gonna be pretty big. It's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by hopefully 7. Not really sure how many tiles vertically it can go. Uh, but it will be a nice little abode. This will be the primary house. And I'm also going to build a smokehouse over here. But... Um, probably use this as a smokehouse and a house at first just to save on labor really um, but then I can get started on the actual smokehouse I've noticed there's like a dog or a fox or something in the water here so I'm gonna go investigate whatever this is no idea what it is it looks like a dog or a fox Um, woo, there's like a map edge there. I did not notice this. Perhaps it's on the land. Just looking around, trying to find out where this little fox or dog or whatever is, if it's even here. But. Looking from the top of this little mountain, couldn't see anything, so I'll have to go back down. And give up on that for the moment. Uh, so the way that I usually gather wood is I only take trees from the shores of islands or by rivers because the amount of effort required to move the uh, the tree trunks is minimal. Uh, you only have to usually move it a couple squares. Sometimes you can get one lucky like this and only have to move it one square. Uh, which means you waste a lot less time on Ooh. transportation of goods because rafts don't require uh, any extra like fatigue to move um, move with stuff on them which means you can carry like hundreds of pounds of wood on a single raft and as far as I know the raft can't sink and also it will not fatigue you at all any extra so if you're going to do any constructions it's best to do them by the water and also get your materials by the water because you can do it much more Ooh. quickly. Um, and going any further inland requires that you move them several uh, little squares uh, which in itself can take quite a bit of effort but it also is time consuming. Oh, got a little teleportation there. And apparently I don't know where the edge of the map went. I'll have to just go to a different island. So we'll go to the world map. That dog fox thing is still there. No idea what that is. There's also like a swan or something or a seagull out in the middle of the ocean apparently. Go check this. Nothing. A couple of little islands. Let's go see if we can't figure out what this is. Nothing? Alright. Another one of those. Uh, 
Well, here's a pretty large island. Wonder if there's a mountain on this. Yep. Take some more Ooh. bites out of that lava rat that we have there. All right, there's a uh, nice little coniferous forest right here. So let's get some wood from this. Usually in the coniferous forest, you find trees a lot closer to the shoreline for whatever reason, than you do in the deciduous ones. And yeah, I got a nice little cluster of trees around the edge here. It takes six tree trunks to uh, make one wall section, but you actually have to carve the tree trunks before you can make a wall. Um, and then you also have to perform the labor required to make the wall. So there's quite a bit of effort that goes into making a cabin because you have to make several walls, obviously. Um, and especially on a big cabin like the one that I'm planning to make. Already we've used up like almost 50 logs. Uh, and the only way you could possibly really get that much wood easily is by water transport. Because otherwise, the, simply the labor of moving the logs from inland to wherever my construction site is uh, would have taken like a week or something instead of two days it was taken on, uh, on this character. Um, you may notice that I'm using a woodsman's axe now. That's because the islander village that I saw at the end of the last video, basically, um, I went there and uh, traded away a spear and the amount of cups that we had at the moment, and I picked up just the woodsman's Ooh. axe. I don't have any other tools Ooh. that are new. Probably going to pass out before I get back to the yep house, but that's okay. You can Ooh. sleep on your raft if you're out of the ocean. Ooh. And Ooh. yeah, you can drink all the seawater you want. It's nutritious after all. You'll notice there's a little house on the world map now instead of just a little shelter. Um, the shelter is also there, but once I take that down, that'll go away. Probably some fish here. Perches, reams, pike. Okay, throw those nets down again. Um, and also, yeah, I did put a door right out into the water. The reason is that I can bring my raft right into the house there and cut down on the amount of time needed to transport wood. Um, but just to show you kind of how to do the construction, I will uh, move these trunks inland, uh, then get to work on carving them into logs. I also cut down a significant part of the forest around the house. Uh, there's two reasons. Number one, it increases my visible range. Um, across the island. Um, and I don't think there's any wildlife on the island. I'm not sure, but probably not. Um, so it's an extra precaution. But also it um, gives me a bunch of wood to work with. Uh, for the use in cup making, board making, all kinds of stuff. Uh, instead of having to worry about gathering gathering all that stuff from the other islands. Because usually what I'll do is I'll get the any kind of like building products I'll grab from elsewhere since they are they have to come in large numbers and they're hard to transport. Any kind of um, handcraft projects or products I will grab gather from my own island since those are relatively simple to transfer and they're much uh, smaller. 
So we'll make a couple of cups here real quick. Where is it? Oh yeah, okay. Make three cups. I think the only axe we need at this point is the splitting axe. Not for sure. Uh, and let's move, I guess, all of those there. We'll burn them. And now cook that food we caught. Uh, sorry, I was just texting there. Uh, that's why I was sitting here doing nothing. Um, so, we are going to cook some of that fish. 16 perches, incredibly small, but they do provide nutrition, so whatever. Uh, eat a little bit more of the roasted stuff we have now. Ooh. Cook those breams. Cook that pike. Okay, there we go. Um, and we can make those other cups. That'll give us, or that'll probably let the food cook long enough. Okay, the perches are done, breams are done, pike is still being prepared, but it'll be ready shortly. Well, we'll just have to make another cup in the meantime. Oh, I did have to give my shovel away as well in order to get this axe. Um, but considering the amount of work I had to do... <coughs> with the woodsman's axe, chopping down like 50 trees, over 50 trees, versus the amount of work I had to do with a shovel, uh, which is basically only used in making a, um, cellar. I decided that the, uh, whatever it's called, would be more useful. Yes, I'm very cognizant right now. Eh, I'll pick up more wood before I do that. Uh, Alright, so, back to that wall section that I was making. Carve it into logs, that's the first step. And since we have a broad axe, that process is relatively quick. It only takes like 40 minutes or so. Uh, if you don't have a broad X, it usually takes like an hour to make a carved axe or carved log. And this can be one of the more time consuming processes uh, since you do have to carve every single tree trunk that you get into logs in order to use them in uh, a building. But then you go to your wooden building section, you pick your uh, type of a uh, wall section that you want. And for right here, let me see, I haven't really planned out the sides yet. Right here is the the corner, uh, which takes up its own square. That's what this section is. This is the first part of actual wall. If I do another part of actual wall, and then a wall with a shutter, then a door, then a wall, and then... Yeah, I'm not sure if that'll work necessarily. Uh, so wall, shutter, wall, door, shutter, wall, wall, corner. That would work. Alright, so 
This edge here will be a shutter wall. For that we need some boards, so I'll bring them over from here. I carved out like 40 boards. You need boards primarily for um, two things to make shutter walls, which are walls with windows basically, um, and also to make uh, doors, tables, and most importantly floor. Everything else pretty much requires uh, logs. So it almost takes seven hours to make a wall segment usually. Um, depends on what time of the day you start, how nutritious your character is, um, but it's a very time and consuming process. Uh, as you can see, we just spent like most of our day there working on a single piece of wall. Uh, but that's that's good because, well that's not good, but that's okay because this is an important structure. This is going to be our home for quite a while. Um, and as a result we want to have it very well made. So pass out here on the small little shack, eat some more fish, head over to the raft, because we're gonna, gonna, gonna go ahead and start collecting more logs, more tree trunks to make into logs anyways, uh, and we'll find a good spot to do that. Just kind of go at random along shorelines. Alright, this is good enough, I guess. It's the early morning. It's acceptable. Um, there's some trees right by the water line. Chop those down real quick. One unfortunate thing about the ocean is that it seems there's a lot more of these deciduous trees than there are con conifers for whatever reason. Um, which to me is not as aesthetically pleasing. That's okay, because our island has plenty. Oops, there's a better way to land that boat. Always try to reduce the amount of transportation labor as possible, uh, because moving a tree trunk is pretty extensive effort and you want to spend as little time on it as you can. See some stones here as well. I'll actually go ahead and oops, pick those up. One thing to be careful of is when you are carving logs or doing anything with logs, you want to do that off of your raft. You don't want to carve them on your raft because your raft is made of logs and I've made the mistake in the past of chopping up my raft um, while I was cutting down some wood and stranding myself on an island. The only way I got off was by making an entirely new raft because luckily in my clothes had enough material to make some cord and then I cut down enough trees to actually build a new raft. Uh, but it's definitely not a good idea to strand yourself. Because, uh, especially when you're out here on the ocean, it's very difficult to come across new, new forms of cord making material. So hopefully you have enough clothes on. Now you can swim or you can train your swimming skill, but usually that's kind of a death trap because especially on the ocean water swimming is a um, very difficult skill to master and if you don't have very good swimming skill, 
my character doesn't have very good swimming skill, for instance, I probably will not be able to swim for very many tiles before I drown. Drowning is one of the easiest ways to die in this game. Alright, so once I chop down this tree, we'll book it back to our island. Got seven more tree trunks. That's enough for another wall section. We will uh, pull up the net, see what we caught for today, cook it, and uh, return to our shelter. A trout. Burbots are good. Burbots are like medium sized fish. They can't fill, um, or they can fill your hunger bar completely without being used up, but they can only do that like two times. Trout are very nutritious. They uh, they can fill your hunger bar many times. So I'll move these tree trunks in, and I'll move these uh, slender tree trunks to that group right there. And I had stones like over here. Case got a nice collection of resources here. I'm actually probably going to use these uh, logs here. Not logs, these are trunks right now. Um, in the construction of walls, just because they're close enough. Even though they did come from inland. And it's actually going to take very little labor to move these logs to that pile there. So I'm going to go ahead and move them down. That'll form enough for one wall segment. Um, having a cabin this early in the game uh, is, I guess, probably pretty unusual. It's only been really uh, like a week or so, maybe a week and a half or something, since I uh, started this character. And so the only reason we're able to really perform the kind of heavy labor, labor that's necessary to make the cabin is due to having um, freedom from subsistence living that's brought by nets. Uh, by the way, we did learn a new ritual. Well, we haven't learned it yet, but we are able to learn it. So the next time we go into a village, I will talk to the elder there, and they will teach us uh, the ritual that allows us to uh, have favorableness, favorableness of the trap. Uh, I've never caught anything in a trap, but that's because the first time I built, the only and first time I built a trap fence, it was um, really close to a Drick settlement. So, probably not too many animals running around there. But I did notice there's a massive wilderness over on the coastline, and I'll probably set up some trap fences over there. There we go. Uh. Food will be better off if you uh, keep it in your inventory overnight and then try to cook it in the morning than if you tried to cook it at night and then you pass out. Because if food is cooked, or roasted rather, and left out, then it will spoil very quickly. Uh, but it will not spoil that quickly if it's just um, left in your inventory, uncooked. So, keep carving these into logs. And by the time I finish with this, our fish probably are ready. Yep. Go ahead and take a bite of these breams that we have here.
eat a little more food. Uh, it takes a lot longer for our hunger bar to fill up. You may have noticed that's just because we're we have a very nutritious diet now, consisting of lots and lots of fish. Still don't have any meat yet, and we also don't have any plant material. But we can go without plants for quite a while before we have to really worry about any kind of nutrition uh, aspects. Oops. I'll make the other shutter wall up here. Gonna need to move the boards. You get 20 boards from one trunk, so they're very easy to create. The only problem right now that we have with boards is the fact that uh, they require a uh, They require a splitting axe to make, and we don't have a splitting axe, which means they take extra long for us to make. So right here will be the shutter wall where I'm standing. This will be a doorway. Um, this will be a regular wall, which is what we're going to be constructing in a second. This will be a corner. Uh, same pattern continues along here, and same pattern continues along here. So it will be a perfect square house, which is good news. Ooh. But we're not going to start constructing the rest of that yet. We need to go get some more wood. There's that little islander village. There's a little coniferous forest right here. Try to get some wood out of this. It's probably easier to find wood around lakes and rivers than it is along the um, coast of islands because islands tend to be more mountainous. Uh, you can see there's several different layers of height before the tree line really begins. Um, on rivers there's not as much of a concern. Same thing with lakes. Okay, perhaps it's south. Alright, there we go. Much better this way. Oops. See if there's any. Yeah, yeah, this is great stuff right here. Probably just sleep here tonight on this island since it's going to require a lot of labor to cut down all these trees. more food. Ooh. Grab a drink. Uh, we'll cut down one more tree and then pass out on the raft. Eat part of that Ooh. pike. It's always better to try eating before you try drinking because your hunger will get reduced a little bit by water, but it will not increase your nutrition at all, so it's better to use what available hunger you have to increase your nutrition. Oops, I accidentally hit enter. Have to go find our raft again. Shouldn't take too long. We start out in the center, basically, of the island area we were just at. Lots of spruce trees around here. Okay. Two six trunks, that's enough for another wall segment. But since there's a lot of trees right here, I'm gonna keep collecting. A 
we'll probably need another like 50 logs or so probably to complete the the cabin oops um, so it's gonna be important that we keep getting wood for some time uh, and again the easiest way to get wood to your location is to bring it by sea what I'm doing right now is just moving stones on board because again stones are gonna be necessary from where we build our fireplace uh, it's more like an oven than a fireplace really it's like a structure that you use for cooking it's like round it, yeah not really fireplace like as it is oven like Okay, got like two large trees and a bunch of small little trees here. That's okay because you need slender trunks in construction of buildings as well. You need them for making the floor and also I believe like some beds and stuff. So they're okay. Move that down and left. Uh, I guess might as well cut down whatever type of tree this is. Hopefully it has big trunk. Yeah, it should. Up to 16 slender trunks, 9 big ones, and 5 stones. Alright, eat some more of that pike. Ooh. Chop down this tree. Yeah, so this is what I did for a long time, um, since the last video. And uh, since I'm going to be collecting a lot of different trunks, I think I'm going to off-screen that from this point on. Uh, this has just kind of been to show you what I've been up to since the last video, which is really just collecting trunks, turning into logs, and building parts of our cabin with it. Um, and uh, I will cut it here and bring you back when... Either I'm finished with the cabin or something interesting happens.